Hi, this is Allie from the Polefish marketing team, and today we're going to learn how to set age range targeting in a Polefish survey. When a member of the Polefish audience network first joins, they complete a basic profile of all their demographic information up front. We use this information to target your survey to the right audience and saves you the trouble of having to ask questions such as how old they are later on in the process. When you first create your survey, you'll see your targeting page complete with all of the ages that Polefish supports already selected and grouped into default settings. It's easy to change these by clicking on the checkboxes next to a grouping to remove it or clicking back on it to add it back. You can see your estimated audience distribution on the right hand side updating in real time to show you the makeup of your audience. Because we are mobile first and COPA compliant, we're able to target age ranges as young as 16 without violating any global privacy restrictions. This means we can reach audiences that are harder to reach, such as Gen Z or millennials. If you want to reach those specific cohorts, we'd recommend switching to specific age ranges. This is where you can input the exact age of those audiences. Since we know Gen Z that we can target on Polefish is between 16 and 23, and millennials are between 24 and 39, we can set that exact audience group and see what the targeting looks like if we were to try to reach those groups right now in a survey. If you had a more balanced audience or a specific sort of breakdown that you were looking for, we would recommend that you use quotas to create a more representative sample. Quotas let you determine a specific number of completes for each group. Since we have 400 completes in this survey, we can adjust our audience to a 50-50 split with 200 completes of each group. So we have an even number of millennials and Gen Z, or we could adjust this to different numbers, such as a 75-25 split if the group was different. And that's it. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, or visit Polefish Resource Center at resources.polefish.com to learn more.